I'm just always looking to compete against myself. That's the one thing I love the most about track and field is that feeling when you do throw a personal best and knowing I'm the best today that I've ever been. And that's what motivates me to continue to be better. So I feel like there's two kinds of world records. There's the one that surprises everyone and that comes out of nowhere. And then there's the world record that you you get it and you say, finally, because you've known it's been possible for so many times. You've been doing it in practice. You thought it was gonna happen. And that's how it felt for me. It felt like that world record in uh, at the Olympic trials was a finally world record. I had six meets where I thought for sure I was gonna get it uh, and ended up not getting it. And so that was the one that finally did get it after expecting to get it so many times. You spend your entire athletic career looking towards uh, being an Olympic champion or setting a world record. I feel like it's always, when you wake up the next day, you expect it to be different. You wake up in bed and it's like, I'm an Olympic champion, but you're still, you wake up and you're still the same person. The outcome is fantastic and it's a beautiful thing, but the true growth and really the journey that got you there is what, what you should really be celebrating along the way because it's awesome to do it on, on the day, but then the next day it's, it's back to work again.